you come to a Muskegon Lumberjacks game because it's an outlet, it's a release. I think hockey here has impacted so many people in the community, whether it's the first time that they've experienced a game to deciding to become a season ticket holder. I really believe the people of Muskegon appreciate a team and an organization that, you know, puts the work ethic and, and effort first. You're a part of the game from the moment that you walk in the doors. You're on the concourse. You are able to always be a part of the game. Muskegon is a very tight-knit community. You see when they come out to the games, they have passion and, you know, they like to have a good time and have a beer and support the team and see some hits and some nice goals and some plays. And, and if a goal is scored, I mean, it's absolutely nuts. The lights go off. It's second to none, the experience that people get to feel. It, that's their family, right? Our team is their family. They broke ground on the Elsie Walker Arena in 1959. Uh, 1960 had its grand opening. Richard Nixon actually came to Muskegon to open up the Elsie Walker Arena. Yep. The Muskegon Zephyrs were the first minor pro team that played in our town uh, from 1960 to 1965. At that point, they were sold and renamed the Muskegon Mohawks and until 1984, at which point Larry Gordon bought the team for a dollar. He changed the name to the Muskegon Lumberjacks and that was by a fan vote. And they had a tenure here until 1992 when they were moved to Cleveland. Losing pro hockey in Muskegon was a really big deal. It had been here for so long, but we actually had another local businessman come in and bring in the Muskegon Fury. Oftentimes when you run into somebody you know, and you talk to them about what games they have been able to attend. They have very fond memories of the Muskegon Fury, and they were um, by far the most successful franchise in Muskegon hockey history. So they stayed around until approximately 2008, at which point the team was sold to the Petolsky brothers. They renamed it the Muskegon Lumberjacks to bring back that history from before they were moved to Cleveland. And unfortunately, in 2009, 2010, they folded. So um, that's when Mr. Josh Mervis came in and purchased the franchise as a USHL franchise. We were an expansion team. Now we are here in 2022, 23, about to go into the 2023, 24 season, still as the USHL franchise. For all players that leave home to play junior hockey, it's a time in their life where they're going through a lot of growth and development and maturation, not just on the athletic side, but also growing as young men. So for us to be able to instill some of that character and the values that we know we're able to, just helps those young men become better teammates, become better leaders, become maybe a little bit more empathetic through their process here. Uh, obviously the hockey comes, like that's why they're here, that's the priority one for them. Um, but it's also important that we help develop those skills outside of hockey that they're gonna take with them for the rest of their life. A lot of former Lumberjacks are having success in the NHL and a tremendous amount of Lumberjacks are having success at the NCAA Division I level. Christian Mullanen, he went on to North Dakota and had an awesome collegiate career. You know, we had Rem Pitlick, I think now he's in, in Montreal. Uh, Andre Sveshnikov, you know, he's with Carolina. Brandon Bussey, a goalie. Seems like every other week he's leading the league in save percentage, which, which is awesome. So that, that's a cool thing for us is, you know, now that we've been around for 11, 12 years, you know, you're starting to see more and more guys like after their collegiate careers, you know, now that are being impact players with, you know, the respective organizations that they're in. Working to develop players and advance players to the next level, you can also help achieve, you know, the greatest goal of their development, which is 
winning and how to become a winner on and off the ice, and uh, that's what we're trying to do here. I'm just excited for the future here in Muskegon. I'm happy to be here, man.